Up next, Kyle, who, in the end, is racist. Well, is she Chinese? Does it matter? Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, but nothing bad, though. Oh, okay, good. It's just that I hate Chinese. Jesus. Oh, not the people, though. I mean the food. Oh, oh well, okay. Well, I guess that's... Because it was invented by Chinese people. Oh, come on. Is it racist to hate a type of food? Well, I don't think so. But I'm sure things could be misconstrued depending on how you relay that information. Right, right, right. So don't say you hate Chinese food because it's made by Chinese people. Just say you hate Chinese food. Mm. Especially when it's made by Chinese people? No, that's even worse, Bob. I mean, is that how you feel? Me? No, I love Chinese food. Great. Uh, even when it's made by Chinese people? No, that's still very, very weird. Yeah, it sounded weird coming out. Yeah, but that's exactly what I mean about something being misconstrued, you know? Mm. I remember in college at a party, they were playing Public Enemy, and a friend of mine said he thought Flavor Flav looked like a gremlin. I think it was because of his teeth. Like, gremlins had those same looking silver teeth. Yeah, see? You see what I mean? Hmm, I sure do. But that doesn't really sound like racism to me, bro. Sometimes one thing just reminds you of another thing. For instance, my Uncle Skip, he used to call me Bubbles because he thought I looked like Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. Hmm, really? He was like 95% blind. One time he thought my record player was the microwave. Aye, aye, aye. Let's just say if you ever try to sell a used copy of Synchronicity back to Amoeba Music with SpaghettiOs all over it. Uh, okay. Dollars the donuts, they're gonna point at you and laugh at you. Right. And call their friends over to point at you and laugh at you. Still though, Bubbles? He's like a full-size human, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He called me Tiny Bubbles. Hmm. Like the song Tiny Bubbles? <laughs> Wait. Is there a bird in that song? Can we please get back to what uh, we were talking about? Okay, sorry, sorry. Anyway, so like I was saying, a lot of people on campus were up in arms about the Flavor Flav Gremlin comparison, which makes sense because it sounds like there's something racist in there. We just weren't really sure what it was exactly. Hmm. So what, the black community on campus was up in arms about it? Yeah, Bobby. I mean, what's the other option? That the gremlins on campus were offended? I mean, come on, keep up. Okay, okay, I'm trying. Even if there was conceivably a gremlin community on campus, I'm sure they'd be over the moon to somehow inherit Flavor Flav. He's a fucking American treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I guess I'm confused. I'm doing what you said people were doing at the time. It's just confusing. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. Everyone everywhere is confused about everything all the time. Man, that's a lot of confusion. Yeah, well, we're in a state of confusion. You've heard of the song by the Kinks, State of Confusion? They're singing about being in a state of confusion. They're singing about us. Wow. Them Kinks, they were very, very hip, man. Dig it. So is all this we're doing right now racist? Are we just going to disappear into the ether tomorrow? Well, I mean, we could always just delete this, no? Hmm. Yeah, you know what, though? Might as well just, like, get it over with, right? Hmm, you think? Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking minefield out there, bro. You think two newbie jerk-offs like us are gonna be able to navigate these waters? Hmm. I mean, professionals, many have perished. You don't think we're creative enough to be funny without pissing people off? Oh, sure, sure. I mean, you could be funny without offending people, right? Right. It's just that you can't be funny without offending people. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What was it again? You can't get them wet. You can't feed them after midnight. The gremlins. Yeah, yeah, gremlins. There were three rules, right? What was the third one? I can't remember. Oh, uh, the third rule of gremlins is don't talk about gremlins? That's Fight Club, I think. Oh, right, right, right. Fight Club, yeah. The first rule. The first rule. Right, right. My bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, that Flavor Flav, does he still wear a clock around his neck? I mean, I would assume so, but... Huh? Whoa, there he is. And that he does. Huh. Mm. I gotta say, the mouth, the teeth. A little gremlin-esque? Gremlin-esque, yeah, I didn't want to say it. Yeah. I mean, the fucking Viking helmet isn't helping matters. It is not. But hey, you could look like a gremlin and still be an American treasure, right? Well, apparently so. I mean, Flavor Flav proves it every single morning he wakes up and pops that fucking grill in his mouth. Huh. That grill probably costs more than your house. You kidding? That helmet costs more than my house. <laughs> That's right, because your house is garbage. <laughs> I know. Seriously, you might as well live in a trash can. Yeah, you know what? I got your trash can right here, Bobby. Are you grabbing your nuts right now? Yeah, I got a little sock hand down there. <laughs>